welcome everybody to another video. So in today's video, we're gonna be showing you how to do the assembly for today. We're gonna be doing a piston cylinder. Um, I don't have here the pictures, but you guys already have seen the pictures to Blackboard and the video. So we're gonna be making that assembly. So we're gonna start by doing the cylinder head, right, the piston head. So I'm gonna, while I'm here, you can see this is my, um, my workspace so far. I'm going to go and create a new component. I'm gonna name that piston head. All right, so it's a new component. You can see now I have these little colors. So if those colors don't pop, you can go over here with the, you can click um, component color swatch on this wheel over here in the corner, this gear. Yours might be off, so turn it on. And now every component will have a different color and it will help us identify which step goes with each. Okay, so to start for the piston in their head, I'm gonna create a sketch. I'm gonna go over here to the front plane and I'm gonna do my sketch. So I'm going to do a rectangle coming from the center like this. Uh, the dimensions will be, uh, the height will be 80. And over here will be, uh, we are going to round this. So let me just calculate real quick how much we're going to need. Uh, it will be 127 uh, radially, so, or I mean, for, for diameters is 63.5. Okay, so with this, we're gonna make a little, some little cuts here. So I make some little rectangles. I don't know why that, pop, that was popping up in mine, but I'll check some of the settings later. Okay, so we are going to dimension this one. So the length of this will be uh, what is over here. So I think the length doesn't matter for now. So we're gonna be making this thickness of this one will be uh, two millimeters. This one will also be two millimeters. And this one will be also two millimeters. All of them will be two millimeters. And our distance between here and here, this one will be two. And the distance between here and here will be four. So you will see what we're gonna be doing with this one in a little bit. Um, and then we can make all of these ones be the same. So I'm gonna click on that, this face and this point, and we're gonna make it, uh, well, it? this and this, I'm gonna make it equal. And this and this also equal. That way after I decide over here on the, on the that dimension, I can figure that one out. Okay, so this will actually be four millimeters. And we forgot one more distance. So one more distance will be from here to here. This distance will be seven millimeters. So we have seven, then it's two millimeters, two millimeters gap, and then two millimeters the next hole, four millimeters, and that's it. So this is how it's going to look like. So I'm gonna go to finish sketch, and I'm gonna go to revolve, click on this, and then for my axis, I will click here, and we have our piston head. So now we're gonna be uh, extruding some of this, you know, uh, we'll make it a, a cut, and then continuing with that. So all right, so for to cut it, we're gonna go over here. We're gonna make our circle. And this will be a diameter of 115 millimeters in center. There we go. And that way uh, we should have about six millimeters in thickness for the sides. So in the sketch, and we are going to extrude this one forward or going up. We're gonna do 7 to 80, we're gonna do negative 74. So it has four millimeters on the top. All right, so this is how it's looking so far. All right, we're gonna go to sketch and we're gonna go over here to the front plane. So we can make our cut. So over here, we are going to just make a rectangle. I'm right, gonna make a rectangle, something like this. Okay. We are going to dimension 
this rectangle and it's kind of move so let's just reorient that okay so i mean it is touching the edge there so this will be uh, a dimension of 40 millimeters and it will be 76 millimeters and we want to center this one so what i'll do is i'll take my constraint midpoint and this line and the center and it will center this so i'm gonna go finish sketch um we can do the fillets later so i'm gonna do that and i'm gonna do an extrusion i'm gonna do two sides or symmetric and then distance to all and cut so this is my cut for the cylinder so we make this cut now we have to do is make the the rings on the bottom so just flip this one out let's do a sketch on this face and we can rotate this one like that so that we can make our rectangle so i'm going to be making my rectangle my rectangle like this and my rectangle like that we can of course also mirror the rectangle right so either or in this case i guess i'll just do that um so the dimension for this rectangle will be um 19 millimeters by 50. and let's just do a couple lines to define this so i'm gonna do a line Come from this side all the way over here. Make sure that that line will be a construction line. And this line, we're gonna make it coincident with that point just so that it's fixed. And we'll make another line like that construction coming straight from the top to the bottom. All right, and we can also fix that uh, coincident with the center. Okay, so we want to make this line, uh, we want to have this one in the center. So let's try to center this one over here. It moves it a lot, but you know, that's fine. We can always drag it to the side, you know. Uh, and then what is the distance from the edge? Let's just check. Or to the center, actually. What is that distance? So just check. So from here to here, we will do we will do here 16 millimeters. That there. And we are going to mirror this rectangle. All right. So this whole rectangle across this line. Okay. And we will finish the sketch okay and i guess let's go back to this sketch so we can modify i need i think we need to modify this so let's edit this sketch and we can do some fillets here so once again i right click here i click edit the previous sketch and we're going to add some fillets here this ones will be according to this thing is 28 and this one as well over here will be also 28. Um, yeah, the other ones will be going to something. So that's good. So finish sketch. And oops, I think we did it in the wrong one. So once again, this can be fixed. So just control C. Okay, so let's just fin uh, fix some of these things. So I'm gonna go over here, right click, edit the previous sketch. Uh, I don't know what's giving me that face. I wanna see the front face. Okay, that's not the sketch that I want. So it is this third sketch. So edit sketch, all right, this one. And we're gonna add a couple of fillets here. There will be 28. Another fillet over here, also 28, enter and finish some of the sketch. 
And there we go. Now we have our view like that. All right, so let's just go back to the extrusion. So we're gonna extrude this and this, and we're gonna do up to, if we click here, you can see it quickly brings it down. So 74 millimeters. Okay, so let's make the circle now. So a cut, so we're gonna go create new sketch. We're gonna select this from plane, select my circle, go like this, this will be 25 center and it will be from this point it will be uh, 22 meters like that finish sketch and we're gonna extrude that out to symmetric and through all okay good so now all we have to do is just to do some of the remaining fillets and we'll be we'll, we will be done with this part. So let's do uh, fillets. Let's start with uh, these edges. This one, two, three, four. And this one will have a radius of 12.7. Uh, we will also fillet some of the other faces. So for example, we will do a fillet on this side over here. So I select this one over here, this side over here, this edge and this edge. Do a radius of 10 millimeters. Okay. All right, it's looking good. And we are missing a couple other things. Okay, and the last fillet we're gonna do is we're gonna fillet the side faces of this one. So select these two, or these two faces, right? So this one, and make sure it is the face that you're selecting. This face, and we'll do five millimeters for both faces. You can see all the faces change, and it makes it like that. So this will be, and we will also do a small fillet on the top here, which will be two millimeters or a radius of two millimeters. All right, so this is our first part. Let's just quickly assign the a material on your recent material. So I'll just show you real quick how to do that one. So um, physical material, we'll assign the physical material. This one is aluminum. So we could all metal, this will be aluminum and this will be 2014 T6. Yes, so like that, close. And we can also add some appearance. In this case, we can add some color to it. Um, You know, for now it's fine, but sometimes we just wanna add some color uh, just to, to differentiate it because everything's gonna be gray. So let's just add whatever color you want. You know, it doesn't, doesn't matter. In this case, I'm gonna make it this time green. Your matter, the physical material is the same. So uh, right now it's just to make a contrast with the background. So we right click, properties, All right? They should give you the material. We can change all the names, the name. So part number, let's just call this, I'm gonna call this one MM part 101 dash one or 10, 10, one. I'm gonna click that. That will be the name, and this will be head, comma, uh, cylinder. Cylinder head, like that. And you can see my dimension, so that's my description. You can see my mass, you know, things like that. Uh, make sure that you guys press, uh, or you can see it erase. So once again, uh, head, comma, cylinder. I just some enter, so it saves, and then close. So I will save my thing, right? So this will be uh, engine assembly, you know, whatever, save. And we have our first part saved. So now let's do the second part and I'll see you in the next video.